to be VV versus the Buzz. Uh, are we getting? Is this a button yeah. check? Or no, are we it looks like right they're going straight. Yeah, the they're going straight in. And we get Lucario versus Rosa. And I know they played Monday, but the Buzz was going mainly Min Min. And I know today he now wants to practice solo Rosa. So it ain't gonna be the same. And oh, okay, that, that was gonna be quick. <laughs> that would have been absolutely devastating for VV. I mean, Lucario in general wants to be surviving. That's when you know he gets to take advantage of the aura, all of that ridiculous kill power. So if, I mean, if he's dropping to those deep edge guards, which it seems like the Buzz is not gonna be scared to uh, at least attempt to go for, then who knows how this set would go? Yeah, no. Who 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 would know? Because this guy is like. Two, two seconds in, he's like, one, two. I'm, I'm already want your stock. And that's just like the fear the buzz instills onto people. Okay. Yeah, the fact that he also has name recognition yeah. and he starts off so aggressively. I mean, who in their right mind wouldn't be terrified when that's how your game against the buzz opens up? Yeah, I don't know how much basketball you watch, but he's basically like Kevin Durant. He's like, yo, I'm the buzz. <laughs> you can't do anything against me. Oh, yeah. yeah, not a thing, because look at that, that beautiful edge guard seen to completion, and the buzz at only 61% is looking really nice right now. Yeah, so many people panic right there and just get caught by their, like, just air dodge in, and he just dares them. He's like, yo, dare stands outwards, and you're just going to die. And look at this, every defensive option that Vivi is picking, how is the buzz managing to punish every single one? Yo, he just knows. <laughs> yeah, there into dare. Massive damage. Uh, okay, I thought we were going to see another du a double dip. Oh, is that no, not enough to take yeah, the stock? He was around 60%, so that won't be enough. But another one of those would definitely kill him. If he can get yeah. that close, actually. Look at this. The Buzz, despite losing Luma, still kind of playing at close range. Still trying to be aggressive. Yeah, it, he hasn't actually thrown out attack, if you saw. Not until that Nair right there. But he was more in his face and just like, yo, I'm in, I'm out. I'm in, I'm out. And that's the sort of thing where normally, you know, if the oh, oh my god, yeah. another one. Uh, normally, if the buzz, you know, was playing scared, you know, it was just like ah, I need to stall until Luma comes back. Then VV could really start to gain some momentum. But by occupying that zone, it felt like even then VV couldn't really get anything started. Yeah, no, he, he was so he was just like scared. Okay, up here taking it right there, but. The buzz? That was the buzz first stock, and VV is at like 66%. It's gonna, it's gonna be tough, even if he's Lucario. Yeah, he does have a, that Anubis boost, so he's not gonna yeah, be able yeah. to use it at all. Oh, you can't use Anubis if the game's over. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I feel like that is going to be relevant because I would not be surprised if Game 2 also sees VV down by a few stocks yeah. <laughs> based on how that game just went. That was a JV3, and that was a commanding JV3. Yeah. And VV's no slouch. VV, we're in winter semis. VV's a top competitor. Does place really well at these tournaments. <laughs> and He's to buzz and make like, like, like winners like, round, like, like winners round too. I know, like... Wait, wait. Believe us, Vivi's a great player. <laughs> I mean, we're, we might get the chance to see it in game two because we have the character swap. I definitely agree with that. The, that whatever advantage he was trying to get with Lucario was not happening. Yeah. And look at that, Lou is gone, done. No, yeah, Dead no, I, I agree with this pick. I think, I actually think R Rosa loses this matchup because of just like the pressure heroes just kind of stale onto you. And bounce. I mean, I guess it's, you know, can prevent those uh, little star bits. Yeah. And also, if for some reason Luma shot ends up going point blank, I believe it also reflects oh, that. I didn't, oh, I didn't even know that. that. That would actually be pretty dope to see, but bounce also one of the things that most likely come up. So if you, like, use bounce, you can just have it go away because it won't come up again after you use it. Mm. Or, like, while it's active. Yeah, so just a slightly improve the odds for whatever else you want to be getting. Yeah. Okay, and you already see him just throwing stuff out. Yeah, however, look at this, his MP pretty low. If he gets caught in like one of those recovery cycles where he's forced to, oh, but Accelerado is actually gonna be huge. Even if he does get knocked off stage, he probably won't have to up B and now his MP is back in the healthy zone, but he's still trapped in disadvantage nonetheless. Yeah, okay, Side B almost just like blowing him up, but it looks like it gets rid of Luma fairly easy. Luma's surviving because we're in a long stage right here, but Oh, yeah. great hit right there. Oh! And that was gorgeous! He'll scoop him! Just 
Do you see the way he barely was underneath that forward air? And I think he got the uh, the oomph right before. Uh, or which, I forget which one it is. Psych up? Is Psych up the yes. one that lasts once? I think it was a Psych up. It, it looked like it was Psych up. Yeah. Okay, the Buzz trying to be more caution. And just yeah. like, just take his time with it. But that's the thing with Hero, because he just gets his MP back. And he like, he has heal, he has everything. Oh, but yeah. his MP very low right now. But with Luma dead, maybe he can play a little bit more easily. Yeah. Okay, just up smash him right there. That was gorgeous. Yeah, and I think I think more players should be wary of, of just checking like Hero's MP when they're off stage. It's only like they can't certain times they can't even use Zoom when they're just yeah. solo. So you just gotta know. <gasps> oh, great Ooh. stall! That was fantastic. The Buzz was definitely looking at that uh, that that command menu and was ready for that. And now with zero MP, this is actually very scary for Vivi. Getting juggled, and if he ends up off stage, that could be even worse. Yeah. All right. Okay. I thought we were gonna see the two frame right there. That parry, not enough. Too yeah. many inboxes. And is the jab enough to do it? Not quite. But a lucky zoom. Going to bring him back to stage, not having to worry about being Whoa. trapped at the ledge the again. The hero players don't say that's luck. They say it's lucky if you don't get the zoom, man. <laughs> <laughs> I do know that the closer you are to the blast zone, the more likely you do get zoom. Yeah, it, the odds do go up. Oh, and now we're going to see, you know, one thing about Hero is that he does have amazing comeback potential. Yeah. Look, look at that Accelerado and oomph could yeah. possibly be Christmas big. Light's Hero, definitely a great character. All right. Can All right. You please? Yeah. Another Accelerado on deck. He's oh. trying to press him. Yeah, trying to get the pressure started. But even with Accelerado, he's kind of overshooting where he wants to be. That's the downside of that. It's so much harder to control Hero. Is he dead? No, not just yet. I, mean, I know he's not dead just yet, but like, okay, he managed to get back to the stage. I love that high recovery. That's the sort of thing where if he kept going low, to buzz definitely would have just hit him Yo, over and over again. That Luma shot to cover the tech chase? So smart. <laughs> That's normally that move is so hard yeah. to deal with, but Yo, Rosa can just who cares. The total noise was perfect right there. It's like when you use your best move and it just doesn't work out. Ooh, Ooh. and I think that Luma shot got reflected. I think yeah. that's what it was. I thought he like did Nair. And maybe that was it. But I, I think okay, maybe we we'll definitely get a yeah, look at that on the replay. But the Chat buzz tell us. Right, yeah, the buzz right now does still have a great lead. That zoom might help out. I can't believe he managed to figure out where he was actually going to spawn back on, though. Yeah, um, this man is to take control. Oh, man, look yeah. at that MP. It's still very low. And great SDI! Getting out of the last hit means that VB is once more on stage. Oh. Yeah, but he's at 174. Can he find a way to clutch it out? 14 MP and growing? Definitely can. Oh man, look at this patience. Up tilt's really big, gives him some space to maybe look for one of those commands. But look at that, the way that the buzz just slowly encroaches on him. Okay, I thought we were gonna see jab, jab, up tilt, but he didn't get it right there. Bear gonna take it right there. Yeah. And the buzz, winner's finals. That hero definitely working out better than the uh, Lucario before, but still not quite enough. By the end of it, it felt like the buzz adjusted the way he needed to be. Early on in the game, wasn't really getting the ledge traps, wasn't really preserving Luma. That was the big thing. That uh, it felt like Vivi was just killing Luma instantly. Yeah. Uh, but by the end of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, he, he kept Luma alive. All right, I do actually want to see exactly what the interaction was here. Yeah, yeah I think okay, that was yeah, Luma, Luma shot. Yeah. reflected, yeah. So, bounce actually relevant right there. Yeah. Really cool to see. So, the buzz, tilde. Yeah, that, well, we're one? not there quite yet. Okay. First, we actually have our winner's semis, and that's going to be tilde versus oh, John yeah. Numbers. I, I went a, a bit past myself, man. Tilde just... So it'll well, that was it was other tournaments also that he was winning. Yeah. So it was not, you know, even if he wasn't right. winning every team. But we're but. in it. Town and City. Yeah, so. that's going to be game one. I'm very curious as to why they went to the stage. I think I guess it's decent for both players. Yeah. But look at that pressure. I know Tilde likes the stage because not many other Falcos do, but Tilde is just willing to take people here. 
Well, I think that Tilda's combos and his overall, the way that he's able to link hits one into the other, actually kind of take advantage of that weird platform layout. He definitely will like go for specific things to exploit it as best he can. Yeah. Uh, but this is the FD variant. I think this is probably why John was okay with going to this stage. Is because, oh, look at that. Yeah. Already so much damage off of this edge guard, and it's still going. Yeah, just pushing Tilde from one side of the stage <laughs> to another. He's like, yo, here's, here's the windows. Here's the backyard. <laughs> I'm taking you for, like, the MTV Crips yeah. tour of Town and City. <laughs> okay, Tilde, good reversal off the corner. Wow, yeah. look at that wiggle. Definitely Tilda realized he was not able to really effectively punish it. And with that, Numbers actually takes a lead with that back air. Yeah, no, the back air is so strong and comes out so quick. And 36% off of two hits? <gasps> oh, it's not just two hits. It's three and 52. Yo, someone nerf we fit. <laughs> I mean, okay. On the other hand, it feels like there are not many people representing this character. Numbers is probably the best one out there right now. Yeah. And, I mean, right now, actually having a lead on Tilde, that's really big. Let's see if he's able to take it all the way to the bank, though. Yeah, 66%, even on, like, this your second stock is nothing scoffer, but he definitely wants to take another stock, and he does. The sour spot counter still enough, and that's numbers with two stock lead right now in game one. Yeah. Oh. All right, one stock lead. <laughs> yeah. Until there's like, yo, slow down. <laughs> oh no! You missed your tech. You take 65, dude. Yo, you gotta step it up, kid. <laughs> oh, I like that. I think you specifically went for those options. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's done. All right. Yeah. There it is. Game one. I. I I swear, Tilda's a good player. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like yeah, now all of a sudden we yeah. have to do that for Til Tilda because that game was I feel absolutely like if you're brutal. A frequent viewer, you would know Tilda's good, but <laughs> if you, this is your first time, it ain't looking so hot right now. I mean, we do have, you know, at least two more game, or like at least one more game to get through. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be two if Tilda manages to take it. And he is also a really good player in his own right, being able to adapt, adjust. And one thing that wasn't happening to numbers in that game was he wasn't, like, like A, he took a huge advantage of whenever he got even a little yeah. bit of stage look, positioning. Like, look at these offstage, like, yeah. interactions. But also, on stage, the neutral was just so good for numbers. Uh, kind of Tilda struggling to find a single hit, which is unusual for him. Yeah, and good job for Tilda to jump out early before the up tilt even comes out. A lot of players do get caught by jumping a tad bit late. Okay, and okay. This is where things can actually get really rough for numbers. Oh, but even then, okay, I like this. Still continuing the combo. The yeah. fact that Falco can pressure from just about anywhere is huge. Yeah. Tilda is like, yo, you thought you escaped? I'm, I'm, all, I'm coming here. All right. He like does it. like a DBZ teleport, man. Yeah. <laughs> With this music? <laughs> Definitely sounds like some DBZ stuff. All right, Baron just getting through. Oh, Tilde wanted it all right there. And it might just cost him if he doesn't survive this interaction. Oh, that's Numbers. Great tech, though. Still going. Yeah. That was an amazing edge guard from Numbers. It doesn't matter how many times you tech. You're still forced into that up B, and Numbers is going to be ready for you. Yeah, and the deep breathing saving him from that um, interaction right there, because Tilde did the up, up tilt bear. And just because of deep breathing, he just he didn't get sent to the blast zone. Yeah, and oh man, look at all this pressure that Tilda is putting up himself. Yeah, but he can't take the stock right now from Numbers, and that's the key thing. So and if Numbers manages to hold his stock and deal some damage. Yeah, and the way that Numbers is playing is so fantastic. I want to just point out that we have not seen a single Sun Salutation reflected. Oh, you're and, right. Which is, normally that's a really big part because Falco can kind of throw that move out pretty freely. But Numbers is not just willy-nilly throwing out those Sun Salutations. Understanding the risk, I think it shows a cognizance that, oh, can really possibly bring him all the way to a victory. Yeah, numbers with a game plan? Hey, that's scary. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh looking for that big yeah. lead. Down tilt taking it right there. And it's the sort of thing where, you know, Tilda definitely can manage to make this comeback. Yeah, are we about to see the cinematic universe to tie this up? Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is how things start. Deep breathing, actually, you know, because he takes reduced damage, can reduce the knockback. Oh, 
that 40, 65%, yeah. not respecting numbers with the aggressive option, though. No, he was not. <laughs> and the little push-ups to get past the lasers. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, keep doing it. Oh! oh! He, he called us, but Bradley said. That, I cannot believe. All right, Numbers is kind of in in, in his own yeah. world right now. He's, he is, he's playing fabulous. I've, I've, I haven't seen Numbers play like this in a long time. Doing mind games on top of this, like, beautiful game plan. This is, uh, I, I, I feel like, you know, Tilde definitely still can take this. Numbers at 100%. If he hits him with the right move, this, this he is, could even it up. But This is vintage Numbers. With the platform movement now? It's, he's looking so clean, so slick. Tilda struggling to find his way into an advantage state at all. Yeah. Okay. But 101%. Nothing. That's pretty scary. Because, yeah. like, one one back air can definitely kill you. And hey. F oh! oh! And that's it. Numbers taking it over Tilda. That's the... I mean... What an upset right there. Yeah. Numbers definitely no slouch, and there was always perhaps the possibility of that happening, but I was not expecting it. The yeah. way he was playing tonight, I think he actually has a shot against the buzz based on how commanding that set just now was. Yo, I don't want to jinx it, man, but I, I think he might be right. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This edge guard was so amazing. Yeah, that was so great. I think that he maybe could have gone for an air dodge up, well, to get yeah. to the ledge, especially here. That was the one where he could have gone for air dodge up. But even then, numbers could have punished it. Yeah. You know? It's like, there's so many situations where you could have chose. But it's like, those were split or Yeah. Split second reactions. So I was like, man. And already you're like, oh, thank God I got the tech. Yeah. You know? It's so hard to, like, not only get the tech, but then think the next two steps ahead when it's just like a, such a scramble off stage like that it can be difficult and numbers taking advantage of it that's a 2-0 victory for numbers and not only that but like a solid 2-0 victory was that both games a two stock uh i don't think game one was a two stock it was a one stock was it yeah and this game wasn't oh yeah that's stock. right this yeah. game because he oh he did overextend right there yeah. he was feeling himself maybe a little bit too he was like you know what, let me be a bit spicy I, I had to memorize that one it's very difficult. yeah it's almost like it's written right there <laughs> <laughs> all right but we're in winners finals the buzz versus john but the numbers Hoover's gone already and, and all right the yeah. buzz knows to tack yeah he, he knows but he's still taking damage I mean, not only that, but without Luma, the disadvantage for Rosa is so much harder. And Luma's gone again in the blink of an eye. Yeah, Numbers is looking... This is this is like that sort of dominance that we just saw him dish out against Tilda. I mean, think about how high he must be feeling right now, managing to get that big win. And he is looking to go even deeper with it, as right now DeBuzz is struggling against him. Yeah, no, this is... This feels like a matchup DeBuzz doesn't want to play into, but I know he wants to go all Rosa today specifically just to grind it up and draw numbers is like yo you're not prepared from like new me do you ever expect that if this does in fact go very south for the buzz do you think he would ever switch uh, off of the rosa maybe i think really low chance because i know he did want to grind it up but there's always a possibility i mean there's a decent chunk of money on the line right now yeah, true <laughs> True. Uh, I also, so normally, you know, Numbers, one of the, his game plans with Wii Fit is about calling out people's jumps with Wii Fit's fantastic anti-air options. Normally, the one he relies on the most is Sun Salutation, but notice how in this game, knowing he can't do that because of the Rosa down B, oh, wow, yeah. evening up that stock, though, is huge for uh, the buzz. But instead, he's going for, like, a lot more of those uh, boxing tools from Wii Fit. The forward tilt, the up tilt, the, the forward air. Yeah, so. and she's able to do that because she kind of outframed that as Rosa, in a sense. And Rosa doesn't have a lot of great get-off-me options, so just beat... Beating up on Rosa, especially when Luma's not there. Well, I, I, Luma's never been there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Numbers has been killing that little star so consistently. Yeah, no. It was definitely not there like my, my father. <laughs> 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 so. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah. Woo. Just dash attack. The bravery from Numbers. Oh, but that bravery might cost him. He's now off stage. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, Numbers taking the lead once again. 
And again, we can't say it enough. He's just oh. playing so amazing, getting so much damage. 45% still, even with the Sunny Salutation absorbed. And look at this numbers. Deep off stage. It seems like Tabuz feels pressured to go for one of those deep edge guards, but also knows the risk. He can't fully commit to it. It sets the ledge trapping. Let's see if numbers can find a way off of this ledge. Normally he's so comfortable there, but with that green plush staring him down, definitely not the same. Yeah. So 68% just done on him. And you see him catching the anti airs. Up to, yeah, no. Up here. That move kills. It's. I can't believe. Numbers is too stuck, the buzz. He is looking fantastic right now. Yeah, let's the, watch that last one. Yeah, one that just just ran right under him in. up tilt into uh, up air. I think that DeBuzz needs to play a little bit more grounded in this next game. Yeah, you know? no, he definitely does because, as you said before, Numbers likes to call out jumps, and he's just finding now different options to do that with instead of using the sun salutation. Yeah, also, I love that. The double function of this forward tilt. Not only does it kill Luma, also the back hit kills the buzz. That was so good from numbers. Yeah, you gotta watch he's, out. His brain is just like all gears, all steam yeah. engines firing right People now. People call the buzz the galaxy brain, but John Numbers, definitely up there with the smartest players out. Oh, scene. yeah. If you ever talk with this guy, the amount of game knowledge that he has is just it's kind of absurd. Yeah. Definitely like an encyclopedia of this game. <laughs> and various other games. He, it's not, he's a multi game player. Yeah. I mean,. The buzz also very, like one of the smartest players I've ever seen. I used to watch this man's um uh, his like analysis streams where he would go like frame by frame on his and other people's Yo, games. Yo, I love those streams. Dude, I love those streams so much. I you can't not learn. Yo, watch Twister TV and have the buzz sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> when you're not watching Xeno at House of 3000. <laughs> Ooh. You know, numbers is looking really good in that last game, but this time around, it feels like the buzz has made some necessary adjustments. The punish is not quite where they used to be. And yeah. like that, the buzz trapping him on the ledge. Is that jab gonna do it? Yes. Yeah, no, we definitely have ourselves an angry the buzz. He is not happy about the performance game one. I think also stage really helping out. Like, it feels like Numbers is not killing Luma nearly as easily this time around. Yeah, and crazy enough, we're in a more enclosed stage compared to, like, PS2. Yeah, and it's the fact that the platforms are there means that Numbers has to go for different options to actually, you know, start to kill Luma. Yeah. And they were a little bit slower that time around, and that meant that the buzz was able to actually save the star, and this is the benefit of doing it. Yeah, oh. look at this one. He's trapped at ledge with Luma there. It's so scary. Oh, hitting the ball back. Oh, I like numbers going, fading, drifting out just to avoid the dare, but still, nonetheless, still trapped in the corner. With this sun salutation, it might help alleviate some of the ledge pressure. Yup, just knocking Luma out of the way, being too far away for the down B even to save him, I believe. Yeah. So. Really smart from numbers, but oh, yeah, missed the missed the deep breathing and just died for it. Can't be missing those not in this situation. Yeah, yeah, two stocks to one now. The buzz with a sounding lead. Oh, Luma but, just taking a hit. Yeah, I do like that. Looking more for those sun salutations now. Recognizing that you know he was struggling to kill Luma with his normals, so instead use the specials to do it. Yeah. If one thing doesn't work, try something else. Oh, and that time actually hitting Rosa herself. And <laughs> how could you do that to Luma? <laughs> right in the back of the head. Yeah, no, I, I would do it to Luma. I don't know what you're talking about. Luma's a menace. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Look at this, all this damage already. John Numbers taking about 60. And once more trapped at the ledge with that Luma. I have never seen Numbers struggle at, you know, being at the ledge yeah. ever like this. I've seen him against Mr. E, one of the best ledge trappers out there. He gets off ledge for free, but this time around, he is he gets put on ledge and he dies or takes like 80. Yo, did, did you see that SDI into Waveland just now? Numbers was, was kind of slick with that. I mean, he's kind of slick, but he's also yeah. just been lapped in percent. True. How much slickness can, uh, how much is that really gonna do for you when, oh man, you are down by just this much. Yeah. No, this is not looking healthy. 
the same time, the boss hasn't really, at least so far, ever gotten a um like an edge guard, you know, going yeah. out there and really killing numbers. It's mainly been from the ledge traps or the juggle situations. Yeah. Seems like he opted more into doing that. In the situation. Yeah, I mean, very good recognition from the buzz. And then, oh, this could be the start of something, oh, but yeah. no. Yeah, th that didn't do as much damage. There's yeah. a lack of deep breathing. Yeah, exactly. But now deep breathing is in effect. I love that. Just punishing the the roll onto stage. And now John. Oh, oh. yeah. Didn't, couldn't punish the buzz for overextending right there. Well, I think that was actually really smart from the buzz. He went off to force the get up timing. Sort of scared numbers because otherwise he would have gotten trumped. So at that point, he went for the neutral get up and he was able to, you know, hit him with the neutral air. Meaning that, you know, Miss Tech on that platform. Look at the coverage. Yeah. Oh, I love he just that. Put so much pressure. He dashes away, dashes back and forth, recognizing that numbers can drop from that platform and hit him. So, uh, but like, you know, with we with uh, Rose's speed, rather, still able to dash in and still get the up smash for the kill. Yeah, he, he basically just scared John. He's like, yo, you're gonna have to pick an option eventually. And I'm gonna be in the area and you don't know when I'm gonna press this button. So you wanna hold shield. And with that up air like being safe, safe enough, like John's like, okay, maybe I can get off this situation. But nah, it was a trap. Yeah, and so to Buzz responding with a two stock of his own. But as we move into game three, the fact that John took game one is going to be really big because he's going to get stage choice. It's going to be small battlefield. Very interesting. I thought he was maybe going to opt for uh, a wider stage. Uh, either a wider stage or a stage where maybe there could be some quirky platforms that could help him land or get off the ledge, like Kalos? Yeah. Something like that. Maybe. Kalos is probably banned, actually. Yeah. Maybe he just wanted, it John was, wanted yes, to push him. Banned. Maybe John just wanted to push him more. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, we I, see PS2 that was banned, but he just probably... You see how quick he got rid of Luma, so... And he's not playing as, like, offstage as he is. He's taking a fight <laughs> to the buzz. Oh, I love that. Still managing to do... that. The fact that he goes for the side beat on Luma, that does, I think, 25%, something crazy like that. That's almost an entire Luma life. Yeah, definitely does massive... Oh, but landing there, gonna do some damage right there. Oh man, look at this. I love the patience right now from both players. John being in the corner right there, yeah. but not in a scared way. It's more of a, a matter of trying to get control. These guys are like Tibetan monks with their patience. Just, they, the monks might have learned from them. <laughs> just ha has not eaten, stayed in the mountains for 70 years. Rolls a few goats. <laughs> <laughs> Survived on yak milk. Oh, Yo. no. The and, uh, nutrition is too much. Numbers ends up getting hit by that up there. And despite the lead that he managed to get at the start of this, it is gone. And oh, but evening it up is fantastic. Doesn't let number, uh, John uh, to buzz yeah, run away with that right. stock lead. <laughs> a lot of names here. <laughs> Three names at most. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got. I literally last tried it. Yeah, it it's alright. It worked out. It worked out. <laughs> but now we see John fighting from the ledge, but like in this more John-like position where he will do soccer ball off ledge and try to convert off of it. I know. And one thing about that is that you're noticing the buzz isn't putting Luma at a distance on the very ledge anymore. I think that's because John has actually started to turn that around and kill Luma if he's like leaves her too him too far away. Yeah. Oh, that up almost doing it, man. Yeah, and he also hasn't gotten a lot of like stage control from doing that. And now with the two frame right there, John almost dying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He sends Luma off to the ledge, and instantly Luma dies. This is actually a huge opening for John. Yeah. Oh, deep and breathing was... in effect. Yeah. John won't die from anything too crazy. Oh, and now he definitely can, though. Yeah, no. 142. <gasps> I'm not sure what happened with the buzz. He's facing the wrong way. Yeah, I think he wanted to do the Luma shot, and then, like, do, like... You could put puppets here to go back, but it was just too, like, early or late in that situation. Yeah. John is on possibly his last stock of winner's bracket. Okay, oh. yeah. 
Uma just taking the sun right there. All right, Uma gone means that possibly this could be a big opening for John. At the very least, he gets both sun and deep breathing, but at what cost? Taking a lot of damage from that neutral air to yeah. forward air. Losing a lot of stage positioning for it, too. Look at that. Uma is yeah. back, baby. That's going to be it. Dying at such low percent. That's the first time we had really seen that. And, I mean, ugh, numbers was looking so good. But you can't forget the threat that the buzz poses. Yeah, no. This guy always a threat to win any tournament in the world. Oh, yeah. For a Smash Ultimate. I uh, mean, not a basketball tournament. Like, the buzz is... <laughs> The buzz, is, Does the, bu the buzz got hops? I, I don't think so. The buzz claims he has a like three point shot, but yeah, but it's not up to date. If you want to find the great music that plays on the stream. Yep, and now we're going to be moving right into this game here. Bongkai, you know, looking pretty good tonight, being able to get those upsets, but now is probably the biggest threat he's had to face. Tilde, I mean, ugh, the, the guy's record speaks for itself. Yeah, no, he's doing so great right now against Bankai. This the ability to like just put so much pressure on his ESS. Not many characters can do that, but Bankai trying to lay some pressure of his own. 64 percent. Honestly, both these guys just brutally beating the crap out of each other right now. Yeah, that, that's a kind way to put it too. <laughs> Oh, you know, ZSS also a lighter character, meaning not going to be surviving those back airs and forward airs at, you know, at any percent, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, but still, even though being a light character, she is a hard hitter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to, till they already at the percent where you got to watch out for that up B. He reversed it. That was so smart. And a taunt. Yeah, I'd say you'd earn that taunt. That was really big. Oh. But, oh, yeah. No, no, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> not until his eyes. <laughs> That's why you got a teabag of it. <laughs> <laughs> the true man's taunt. <laughs> the patrician uh, d taunt. Yeah. It's my, It's in all games. <laughs> as long as you can crouch. <laughs> all right. Oh, man. Look at this movement right now. Yeah. Using the flip kick. Oh, but actually catches him, but not safe enough on the hit to actually get anything off of it. Oh, oh. It is, that's so oh. early. Good job recognizing the situation that Bankai was reversed there. And he wasn't gonna sweet spot the ledge. I think he's been. I think he's just been holding up. You know, yeah. he's been like going past the ledge very frequently with that upbeat. So, just really good stuff. And that early kill is a massive, especially because whatever momentum Bankai had, you know, being able to take that first stock, oh, it is gone. Yeah, now. no, it is definitely gone. All right, and I really like the spacing that these guys are playing around. Bankai trying to space his airs, but Tilde is also spacing back, just respecting a lot of Bankai's like burst options, trying to make Bankai come in, but definitely not respecting enough right there. He survived! That's I can't believe he managed to do that beautiful DI, and oh man, Tilde... Yo, ba yo Battlefield is wonders right now. That should be. Oh, no, yeah, it's not. Doesn't want to go off stage or risk anything like that. Especially when on stage you can still do that. Yeah, but he's at 93%. And you said before, CSS is a light character. So she can't take many trades right now. Or she's going to have to like, suffer from death. I mean, already we know that Tilda can link. It feels like he links every single move in, Til in uh, Falco's kit into a kill of some kind. Oh, right there. Missing the back air, though. Might severely cost him. No, no, definitely will. Okay, great dash back. Just to bait out, like, Tilde's option right there. Oh, my God. He's just pushed off stage. We see the nares. We see the lasers. What are we going to see this time? Down tilt. Oh, whoa. Oh, being able to just fighting out the situation. Not many players do that. Okay, this is actually really big for Bankai. Another, oh man, how is he not getting punished for any of this? Oh, it's really hard to punish ZSS. She's so mobile and so quick. All right, respecting the option, trying to get the ledge trap. Throwing out and these I, very safe yeah. moves. Yeah, I do like the back off right there. Oh, just seeing how small that shield is getting and just trying to dash in around it. Oh, oh my God. Both these players knowing that this next hit might be the deal breaker for either of them. I don't know okay. what that was. Yeah, no, he thought Tilde was going to jump. Tilde has been liking to jump at him with theirs. 
But until they now opting to be more patient, trying to hold his ground, trying to find something. Yeah. Oh. The late back air, still not enough. And that one that just barely missing this yeah. forward air from across the stage. Now, which play, these players really want to take game one. And a missed input, put himself on the ledge, but Bonkai still respecting him. But yeah. this is the sort of thing where things can go south so quickly for Tilde. Trap okay, yeah, ledge. he got him. So, using the side beat so many times, like just condition till they just shield and just one grab. Yeah, the animations for side B and grab are so similar that as soon as you see that yellow whip, you're like, oh, I have to hold shield. Yeah, but nope. Right there. I think it's, if you look at her stance, it's the best way to tell the difference between those two moves. Like, you notice how her legs kind of go apart yeah. for that one, and then when she does the, the grab, she like kind of goes on one knee. All right, that's version A. Yeah, like she yeah. puts her knee down first. It's a bit quick. The grab's definitely quicker. Version B. Yeah, but that was so good from Bankai. At the same time, some kind of... Oh, are we going to try and comment on the range of that? I yeah. mean, it makes well, sense. It's a tether. No, nah, I don't... It, it was going to... There's dumber things in oh, this yes. range, with range in this game. I do want to talk about the fact that there were... I felt like there were so many opportunities where Bankai uh, should have lost that game. Oh, well, yeah, the, the back air with the weak... The weak, the weak back, back air. air. Oh, so the up smash. He threw out this up smash where definitely... Oh. Tilde, yeah, if but it's I think like he's a little scared right now. Yeah, no, it's like it was such a last hit situation where it's like, man, do I, if I don't punish this in time, I could just die. So let me respect it for this one time. Yeah, I mean, we didn't even really see him try to go for down tilts or anything like that. I realize that's a bit tricky to do on CSS because of how aerial based she is. But at the same time, it is one of those reliable kill options at the later percent. Oh, yeah, great job for Bonkai to use his up air to just change like his hurt box. Basically, hurt box tripping and then counter hit till they with it. Oh, there yeah. we see that down tilt as an interrupt. We saw the first frames of grab, but not enough. Yeah, just the build. You can punish like Falco Fair is like really, really hard because he just goes, he could choose like the timing on when he could land with it. And a lot of people just get hit by that last hit. Yeah, right now, Tilde kind of just, despite the fact he has a lead, he's being very aggressive, trying to get into Bankai's face. Bankai exploiting it beautifully. That Zare into Tech Chase going to be taking the stock. And, oh, man, CSS with Rage. There are some crazy combos she can do. Yeah, no, definitely. She definitely could. She's known for taking early stocks, but not Bankai living right there. That but not be, that, yeah. yeah. Good job for Tilde evening up the stock. And this is what really similar to the last game where Bankai did get the early lead and Tilde just brought it back real quick. I mean, last time he got it with that extremely early edge guard. I don't think Bankai is going to be falling for something like that again. Look at that. Oh, I'm loving the pressure, the way he's following him down. But a beautiful parry. Parry's oh. in response. He has so many. I mean, when you see that, it feels like they have an understanding of each other's timings when they're throwing out the moves, but they're not actually able to get the effective punishes. Oh. That trade was definitely not in Bakai's favor. That forward, that's an option we hadn't seen from Bankai to get off the ledge. Till they're not ready for it, all of a sudden, you know, he's not having the level of stage control that he had been. Yeah, but till they does have to percent lead, but that almost doesn't matter as much if Bankai can find like the correct hit just to kill him. Oh, there it is. Finally finding that conversion. That's something they know Bankai, uh, sorry, uh, Tilde was kind of struggling to do in that last game. This time around though, maybe he's starting to figure out what he needs to be doing because, oh man, these combos, these are what we know from Tilde. Yeah, no, 68% just like off of one interaction. So scary. Oh, man, not to 68. That's an entire death. Yeah. Oh Bankai just being taken for a ride. If you like the MC, you're definitely a fan of Falco. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man, look at yeah. this. Into neutral air. Yeah. Up yeah, throw. How does that laser still hit him? That's what I want to know. I don't know, man. That's, that's like cheating. <laughs> like, that's so... No, that laser should not have hit. <laughs> She's not even there. We were complaining about the grab before. <laughs> no, that laser is actually ridiculous. 
Oh, up smash. That's something we've been seeing Bankai do a lot of, throwing out an up smash in the yeah. corner, trying to catch the jump. Yeah. And this time around, oh man, all this early damage because of it. Yeah, Bankai just basically did up smash, side B, up smash, and got that 39%. Oh, but 39% ain't nothing. Okay, Tilda actually kind of dropping the combo right there as Bankai managed right. to avoid the worst it, of it. It was a mini movie. <laughs> Short film. <laughs> All right, nice air dodge out to the ledge. Though getting ledge trap, I do like the initial thought behind it. Oh, oh. this guy. This guy just throwing out the airs. I, I oh. love him until they dares. I mean. Reminds me of like Melee Falco. Oh yeah, the thing is the reward off of it is just so good. And a lot of opponents, you know, kind of struggle to actually be able to punish it. Yeah, no, it's fairly safe on chill, like only minus five or six. So, kind of ridiculous option just to throw out. Yeah, it's Bankai respecting the fact that low, yeah, that back air is definitely a kill option. At 112%, he has to be so careful. Okay, just getting out the situation. And yeah, overextending right there. Bankai losing his first stock this time. And that was the first time he's lost the first stock. Oh. And the kill confirmed not working. ZSS sucks, so, says some ZSS main watching. <laughs> Oh my god. I thought he was gonna like fire burst. Yeah. Oh. I actually thought that too. <laughs> I mean listen, if you do that and it works, that that's the the, the set. Man. Yeah, no, Not you're like you're, you're kinda dope. <laughs> also, you I feel like you win your next set too. Yeah. If you manage to pull that off. It's like yo, just give it to him. Did you see this combo? <laughs> Alright, Nair. Ooh. Oh, there's that dare that we love to see. All of this damage dished out onto Bonkai. And he's really struggling right now to even get a single opening. Yeah, he's trying to find his footing, but it's just not working out. And will that be it? No, not just yet. Forced to air dodge, makes it back to the ledge, but here's another one of those ledge traps. Finally catches the jump with the up smash. That's an option we had not really seen from Tilde. Yeah. And it's gonna pay dividends in game three. Here. That was one of the moves that were like buffed during the quarantine era. So and like Falco's just able to kill so early with it and it connects so much better. That Tilde and a bunch of other Falcos now use it as options, like straight out of shield. And we just see now Tilde just working with this combo. It's extending his lead. Oh, it's looking fantastic out here. Yeah, look at this. All of his damage. He's up. He manages to lap him in percent right now. Yeah. And you wouldn't have thought, like, at game one and two was close the way, like, Tilde's just taking a commanding lead right now. I think... I think that that loss that he had in winners against numbers maybe phased him a bit, but he is shaking off the cobwebs. We are maybe starting to see the birth of a new terror, Losers Tilde, as he is now going to be moving on, keeping his soul alive in bracket. Yeah, no, he's definitely a threat. We, we wanted to see Losers Tilde. We got it. <laughs> we unleashed a beast. <sighs> All right. Oh, man, that, that was honestly a really good Yeah, no, Could that smash was ridiculous. <laughs> Man, good stuff to Bonkai, making it yo, so deep in bracket. Yo, look who's playing. Once Zom again, Tilde versus Zamba. Yo. The classic happening in loser semis. This yeah. isn't Grants? No, this, this is not Grants. This is... Yeah! <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I feel like at the end of that set, of this upcome two sets, but only two sets has Zamba taken in the last, like, seven times that they played. Yeah, no. Two sets is not a lot. All right. And I don't think this might not be that great of a matchup for him, Rob. Feels like he just got comboed a bunch. And I know people say that about every matchup <laughs> against Rob, but Tilde, he has me as a believer. <laughs> I mean, I will say I think that also Tilda has so much experience in this matchup, especially in New York. Oh, boy. Yeah, we have great Robs out here. No, we have like four of them. It's too many. <laughs> and you wonder why Tupac doesn't come to Zeno that often. Yeah, it's like, Rob. What a kick! The survivability from Tilda right now. These recoveries have actually been fantastic. Is he actually going to take it all the way? Can he get this stock here? Or is Tilda... Oh, pop it up. No oh. way. Ah! That 
that was incredible. Still taking, holding out on his jump. You see a lot of people like to jump after the tech. And Tilda's like, nah, I'm just going to come down with my fair and make it back. And Zamba, good job evening it out. I mean, that was one of the coolest ways I've seen Tilda take a stock in a long time. Yo, he's been doing cool ways to take a stock, so I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, man. It's, maybe I'm just desensitized to all the other cool ways he takes stocks. <laughs> it's like, man, this is coming out too, so often. Show me something different, Tilda. <laughs> Ugh, I'm tired of this combo that is like seven hits into up or off the top. <laughs> Please, up to me. Oh my yeah. lord. Oh, well, okay. okay. It is yeah. always still cool seeing Tilda land all those hits. Because, oh, I'm pure Zamba. Not going to lie, I got the eye mix up. I thought he was hitting him the other way. I would have died in bracket. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I like the side he's trying to catch the landing, but Zomba now jumping, and that's the sort of thing where if you condition Zomba to jump, that means next time around, maybe you're gonna actually catch that jump and make it that much harder for him to land at the end. All right, you saw the down tilt out of shield, and I think that that is really good against fastballers, but Tilde's just not giving him the chance. Now, dealing 58%. And another great reason why it seems like Falco does good in this match, but he's able to just chase Rob so high up. Yeah. Like, not a lot of characters have the jump height that Falco does. I love that get going. Oh, oh that was so... I was thought for sure he was going to land on that platform. Yeah. Juked him out, but in the end, Zomba still able to clean up the stock. All right. Good job, Sylvan. But got caught jumping out of that shield. I, I love that. The fact he landed on the platform and used that perhaps surprise factor to immediately jump up and go for that high forward air. It didn't work yeah. out, but Tilda definitely aware of the stage and how to take advantage of it. Yeah, it definitely seemed like one of his most favorite stages to play on. Like, a lot of people take him here because they're like, yo, this should be a bad Falco stage. No, no, no. Ain't a bad Tilda stage. <laughs> Oh, is that going to be it? A forward are probably not going to be enough. It is worth also remembering that if Zomba gets a gyro in hand... Oh, he's yeah. alive! Living. <gasps> if he gets a gyro in hand, he could still make a comeback happen. We know the kind of disgusting combos he's able to do when he gets an opponent off stage with like that. Yeah, not able to get that down tilt right there. Okay, and Zomba just mounting a comeback. I love that recovery, knowing how scary it would be to land on top of Zomba. Yeah, you can't, you don't want to land on top of Rob. He didn't get his jump yet. He's trapped on that platform. Now he's trapped in the corner. Oh, okay. A slick crap and a fantastic yeah. mash. Yeah, that mash up definitely saved his life. Can't do that on his shield that much. Back here out of shield, taking it. I think that was the grab just barely whiffed. Rob's, although Rob has amazing grab game, his grab itself is pretty, pretty terrible. Yeah, no, he it doesn't have a lot of range. Let's watch yeah. this one more time. I think that was a grab at least. Yeah, and that match, match was so good. That match out saved his life and just barely missing the up tilt. Oh, no, that was actually... Down wait, tilt, wait, 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 down tilt. Oh, oh, he tried to gyro. Attack, yeah. No, it looked like he tried to gyro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, dash attack and dash grab have such similar animations. All right, so we're getting a rerun. I I mean, I can understand why, but at the same time, like, we saw just how Tilda was using this stage to, his, to such great effect. Yeah, I don't... Go against it though. I I see let's small side blast zones. The ability to just arm rotor at like twenty and take a stock. You 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 want the stage if you're Rob. Also the survivability on the top, you saw how he lived up. Oh man, yeah, what does it matter on the top if you die off the bottom? Yeah, no. He said, yo, you're going the other direction. And you notice some pause on the platform there. I Oh, getting hit by that is so big! Yeah. Not only is it damage, but it's now stage positioning for Tilde. And Tilde just calling out that jump out of shield. He's so good at doing that, just knowing when his punks like to jump. Okay, I mean, all right. <laughs> Gonna go to that. Great mix up. I thought he was going to ledge. No, I, he's been doing that quite a bit, and Zomba was kind of ready for it, but not able to actually punish it. That's really big. Tilda now able to dish out 82% and growing. You know, with a, with a, within another few hits, he's at death percent. Yeah. So 99. And basically one good hit will kill him on the side. Oh, man. All of these up airs landing. Oh, my so God. He bounced so high up from that down tilt. 
That's going to be it, I think. No, oh, no. Go he... for forward throw. <gasps> okay, just barely missing the platform. How unfortunate. Did he? I feel like he reacted to the platform, but aired on a little bit weirdly. Yeah, no. I think he expected the platform to move a bit slower. Or him he... to land a bit like faster, and it just didn't work out. Do you think he has the platform timings memorized? Oh, that would be cool. I mean... We, 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 can, we can ask him once after the set. Yeah, I mean, the sort of thing where... Uh, that would be helpful for Falco. If you're off stage, sometimes it can be difficult to uh, get back. And so if you just memorize the timings, it'd be like, oh no, there's a platform that's about to help me out here. Yeah. And again, going Whoa! high. Oh, oh, he's still off stage without a jump. He's off stage without a stock now. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good from Zone, but now I can see why he likes Town and City. Yeah. <laughs> but Up Smash out of still taking it right there. Yeah, we have last stock. Very even game here is it's basically... Oh, my God. You cannot get away from him. Oh, you can't get away from Zomba either. 57%. Huge combo already dishing out all of this damage. They're going back and forth right now. Yeah. This player just taking turns, just beating each other up. Oh, my God. These gyro combos, but not from Rob. <laughs> yeah, do you, I love the fact he reacted to the up tilt not hitting the last hit, and he still caught him with, I think it was a neutral air. Yeah, it, it felt like he practiced that in the training room, like, yo, just in case this doesn't hit, <laughs> I can do this. <gasps> no jump. That's going to be it. Yeah, it is. Wow. And it felt like Zumba was behind by so much. Yeah. But he took that break. You remember in that end of that first stock? Stayed for a second on the Halo platform. I think recollected himself. Realized what he needed to be doing, and he just got it done. Yeah, great job. And it seems like we're just going straight back there. All three games on Talent City. You don't see that really often. Yeah, I'm going to say the fact we don't have Game 1 on PS2. I feel like we haven't had that many Game 1 PS2, Zach, uh, tonight. I feel like we had a few, but I could be wrong. These games have just been going so fast and so high octane. Did you notice he up tilted and it clanked with the gyro and that kind of messed up the timing? Let oh. someone get in and you know, put on all this damage. Yeah, I did not. In. Yeah, I did not notice that. Great job scouting that out. Yeah, now it's starting to get a bit harder for Tilde. As I say that, he's just getting the combo going. Yeah, I also love the fact that oh man, both of the reflector and the gyro hitting. It's decent damage. But I, I love the fact that when Zomba gets comboed and then he, you know, Tilda picks up the gyro, he makes sure to grab the gyro once it's thrown at him, knowing that Tilda can't is basically forced to throw the gyro in those situations. Oh yeah. <gasps> he managed to drift behind him at the last second that was so big for Tilda. He might actually be able to clean up the stock right now. He does with that forward air. Yeah, and only having 94%. If you can just try to extend the lead with one good combo. Oh, but he has to get off of the ledge first. Yeah, oh. that's really hard to do. Rob being an excellent ledge trapper. Up smash out of shield. Takes it. Yep, and that, that scoop. <laughs> man. Yeah. And we haven't seen Zama do that much. We, he hasn't, he rarely does up smash. So Tilde was not ready for it this set. I love that forward uh, deals for the down tilt, but still has the frame advantage to catch him if Tilda does wind up behind. And Tilda is definitely behind right now. Already 106 damage. And oh man, that was so scary. If he jumped, he probably would have died right now. No, he, not probably. I doubt he definitely would have died. <laughs> Alright, 40, only 44% on Zalva. And the F smash just knows when you're going to drop your shield. He got that parry. I don't know. I think he tried to go for a forward smash himself. I'm not sure what option he went for right there, but that's going to be massive for Zomba as now we have oh, already. Oh, this could be the turnaround, though. Oh. oh. And still going, Salty. <laughs> but that up air, it's one of Rob's fastest aerial options, meaning that uh, it can combo break in the right situation. All right. I think it's worth dwelling on here that if you're Tilda, A, you want your run back against John Numbers, but also you've been getting first time after time to get knocked out and, and wind up in fourth place. Yeah, this is definitely a drop. Oh, he's looking for some way. That's really bad, though, getting getting that uh, side B shielded. 
He needs to take a stock immediately, and even then it's going to be an uphill battle. All right. Oh. They're just clanking with each other, but Zamba just has the stock advantage, so it's like these trades are so much in his favor, and that is it. Two stock in game three. That's going to be Tilda, the tyranny, kind of putting its place because he's going to be knocked out at fourth, whereas Zomba is going to be moving on, getting his own shot at John Numbers, waiting for him in losers' finals. Yeah, Numbers definitely playing on fire today. He so, is hopefully, not cooled off. But so he did manage to beat Dill, which is not something he's been able to. That's yeah. been kind of a, you know, she's been a bracket demon for him. Yeah. But I know his record against Zomba is even worse. Yeah. So guys, come on through. I think actually we don't have much time for any other ads because we're going to be getting right into the game here. This is, uh, yeah. oh, this big is, one. yeah, this is Numbers versus Zomba. If you're just tuning in now, this is Losers Finals. Like, it's not too unusual to see Zomba here, but Numbers, you know, putting a really good show yeah. on to... Nah. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe a bit too low. I mean, for... I guess take it. Take the stock yeah. trade. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're playing two stock meta. Damn. We Smash love, 4 all over. Yeah, we game. love that game. Ooh. Okay, well, one of the risks of two we stock... We love is that, that game. <laughs> And how we love this one too. Now, that is the risk of playing a two stock game is that all of a sudden something like that might happen to you and the comeback that you need to make Yo, is that much <laughs> These players more are going after each other. <gasps> okay, I love the high recovery from Zomba, recognizing that numbers really wanted to. Yeah, sort but of you have only have so much fuel to go high. Hey, look, look. Uh, how much time has passed, Salty? This Four stocks are gone. We're in a minute, and we're already up to the last stock for both players. This isn't even like a, oh, you know, total slaughter fest. No, yeah. they're just like, this is like the type of slaughterhouse with a pig and the butcher take turns. Yeah, this is, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> but this is what we call efficiency. <laughs> Probably not with the butcher, but. <laughs> <laughs> right. Zamba trying to play with more space, more control, and numbers. Known for like more of his camping style, just now getting into people's faces and boxing with them. The thing is that I love that approach just because of the fact that uh, Rob is kind of a zoner who beats other zoners. Between Gyro, between uh, the laser, there are so many things that numbers can't just hang back and do whatever he wants. Yeah, no. That some salutation is active right oh, now. Oh, just caught but... the jump. Yeah, and you can see numbers kind of throw up his arms with that one. Like, yeah. ah, come on. Yeah, and he did the signal for the run back. Yeah, well, here's our game one PS2 that we were talking about. Yeah, he and he just got deep breathing too. Yeah, I but... like the bait right there. He didn't even hit his shield. He like whiffed it, and then he was like, okay. No, that he faded back. Yeah, and then he did like a dash back, and then he's like, okay, I know. I know you're gonna feel safe right here, so I'm gonna hit you with something slick. One, All right, yeah, and now get right. That's actually so. It's funny. Game one started off with uh, numbers getting lasered right at the start. Game two, he knows to shield. He's yeah. learning. He's adapting. Well, let's see how much he's gonna have to do a lot of adapting right now because 56% right out of the gate. Zombo looking much better than he did in game one. At least yeah. At the start. Here. Actually, I'm more amazed that Zombo was able to grab that nair. Really hard, and the numbers use the spaces is so well. Oh, no shield. Oh, okay. He's yeah. actually getting his ventility back. That was really smart from numbers. The, uh, Yo, you can't not challenge that. Yeah, it's, I think it's frame five. It's also, frame, arm intangible. Yeah, like, you don't fight her there. She's a monster. <laughs> no Nicki Minaj. <laughs> oh, I also love the recoveries from numbers. He's avoiding these downers every time. But, oh, there's more than one way that those recoveries can be punished. And Numbers is just getting knocked off stage time and time again. 139%. I think a forward it will probably kill him at yeah, this point. unfortunately getting the sour spot. Nair hitting the ledge. And the snipe, the laser from across the universe connecting onto Numbers. And, you know, he did. we did see him, you know, get a really clean response in that last game. But this time around, he... He needs to keep doing it. Oh, oh my God. Surprised he actually finished the jab combo. Yeah, so, so yeah. I don't think, you can't jab lock after three, so. Yeah. He's like, okay, I might as well just finish it here. 
I wonder if there was maybe another punish you could have gone for. Maybe, but it would have been through a tech chase, maybe, most likely. Yeah, and this is just not looking really good for numbers, but looking great for Zamba. Yeah, at the same time, if numbers manages to take this stock right here, but he's trapped at the corner once again, and he's kind of conditioned. Wow, that was so good. Did, did he parry and still get punished? <laughs> it looked like that. Not all parries are great. <laughs> well, because he crossed them up, which was really good. Oh, right. I think it's your oh, Okay, okay yeah. Oh, Side B ah. just taking it right there. Zama. Zama just doing a great job. Life trapping, taking the stock right there. And he had gone for that downer. You saw him time and time again. None of them have been working, but he only needs for it to work once for it to oh. really work out. Yeah, number, you usually see numbers get a kill off these up smashes, but when we fit just not be having enough strength to kill the heavy Rob. Oh, he wants to be punishing it. There's the... He gets the parry, but back hit of up tilt is... Oh, sorry. F tilt is not quite enough. But at this point... Ooh, I think he wants deep breathing just to give him more kill options, but look at this. The pressure right now. Zomba not letting him have a chance to. Oh. All right. F tilt taken right there. 35%. This is doable. Salty. Oh, absolutely. Especially when you start getting those low percent grabs, deep breathing. Right. Oh, <gasps> landing there. Oh, there's some of these combos that we've seen when numbers, you know, if the opponent misses a tech on that platform, we've seen opponents take 65. Yeah, or but... have lost stocks from it. Chiro in hand. Okay. Zamba just knows he's going to roll there, so covered it with up smash. Unfortunately, he's not going to kill right there. But definitely has been scouted out. That's the exact same thing we saw him go for before with that down tilt, trying to punish a jump into back air. But numbers very smartly holding shield. With those adaptations to good, but will it be enough? Because he's surviving, but he needs to have things go turn around. Yeah, he <gasps> cannot do that. Oh. oh my god, just living. Yeah, he and needs deep to breathing. Deep breathing. Okay, just sniped out. So Both scary. players don't want to do anything. Yeah, Numbers trying to find maybe an up tilt to catch dropping shield, but just barely misspaces it. And these players looking for their out. Yeah. Numbers is like back air. Yeah, and now deep breathing is done. But he's probably not going to need it, but he still goes for it anyway. Okay, deep breathing's back. That was so risky going for that deep breathing that situation. Somehow yeah. he manages to shield it. He, that's going to be a game two victory for numbers. Yeah, we're going to game three. Yeah, we're definitely going to game three. That definitely looked like a super slow option. It felt like you could have shield grabbed that one. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think the yeah, shield grab. Because you, you, you have to drop shield, and then you have to start with down smash. So that's like 11 frames to drop shield, and then yeah. whatever move it. And also number shielded right afterwards. Yeah. The, but would it have up throw killed at that percent? Well, even if up throw wouldn't have killed, it's like you're still getting them all stage. Yeah. Um, And now, yeah, we're into game three between these two. If there is a timeline where numbers manages to beat two of his bracket demons in the same tournament, it's going to be this one. Yeah, no, this tonight's the night, man. Yeah, get up attack has invincibility. So. Uh, I also do want to just point out, so normally when Numbers gets hit off stage, that's actually one of the best times for him to get deep breathing. But because of the fact that Rob has things like Gyro and also that laser, you know, he's yeah. not really able to get it. He's actually struggling to find times to, you know, get that buff working in his favor. Yeah, even Arm Rotor, like, the move Rob's most infamously known for can just, like, end stock, so... It's definitely a scary time for to be numbers. Yeah, and trapped at the ledge, but not necessarily suffering that much for it. He is alive and now with deep breathing. This is actually threatening the kill onto Zomba. Yeah, the whiff just not working out for him right there. Yeah, and manages to roll back on the ledge, but it's just not working out, losing that exchange. And that's what Zomba was scouting out before. You saw how numbers just rolled at ledge gonna do it once more but this time actually just dumping out zamba has some of these habits scouted and the grab into up throw taking the stock yeah we now have numbers he has to once again make it he did it last game i believe he lost the first stock managed to still get the comeback going but this time around look at them but just putting up so much ledge pressure numbers can't quite figure out how to get off yeah 
This is not looking good for him. You saw before that, like, the game he won, he was so aggressive. And it was just more in Zama's face, but now he's trying to lay back. And it just might not work out for him. 71, 72%. And just counting. Oh, oh, that down tilt was so good. And numbers, look at the way he's struggling. 104%. Yeah, Zama, this is like a different. He has a lockdown now. Yeah, this is kind of what we normally see a player like Zomba do to numbers. Three stocks to one. Numbers has had a fantastic run tonight. Is it going to be cut short in this game three against Zomba, though? Yeah, it just might be, man. Okay, I'm still taking it. But that's the first stock of many he would have to take if he wants yeah. to stay alive in bracket. Interesting that he actually went for the sun salutation as opposed to deep breathing. That these lower percents, especially, that's when deep breathing can really work out because the combos just become disgustingly powerful. Yeah. Uh, no, it definitely does. And I, Zamas is not letting him the chance to, like, get it. I mean, look at this Numbers at ledge once more. Even when he's getting the parry, the spacing is too good from Zomba. Numbers struggling to punish him at any point. All right. Is he going to catch him? No, he does not. Oh, good spacing to avoid the down air. But, like, it's it's just delaying the inevitable right now. It feels like damage just being dealt onto Numbers time and time again. Even when he's air dodging these projectiles being thrown at him, this is the first time we've actually seen him get a little bit of something started, but even then, cut off so short. Yeah, it might be too late. Because already having 92% dealt onto you, 102, and just being ledge trapped by Rob, that's, that's not a situation I want to be at. Oh, no, in numbers. I think he's sick of it at this point. And even now, if he manages to take this stock, he still is at 143 trying to like deal with Zomba at zero. This is looking like it might be the end. That dash attack, even with deep breathing, it's not enough. Yeah, Rob's just such a heavy character, able to live to pretty high percents. Man, that up air still not doing it. Yeah, it's just not working out. Okay, oh. just got shot up. All right, manages to get both the sun and deep breathing, yeah. and it's the sun that ends up taking the stock. We do have one stock apiece for both these players, but the amount of the, the room for error, you know, for numbers is like zero. Yeah, no, you, you can't have any. That's it. Yeah, that's that's got to be it. Tombstone pile driver off on the top platform. Yeah, and that's going to be Zomba taking it, managing to get himself into grand finals. But, man, numbers had such a fantastic run tonight, getting some yeah. really fantastic wins. But uh, just being kind of coming up short at the very end here, Zomba, one of his uh, bracket demons, still remains. Yeah, that, is it a bracket demon? <laughs> is the buzz actually a bracket demon? <laughs> oh, no, I'm talking about Zomba. Oh. He remains. Oh. Zomba remains. Okay, my bad. Yeah. I mean, victorious. It's going to be a big ask. Let's see if he is up for this challenge as we move into game one. It's going to be on town and city. All right. Oh, yeah, we're moving into it. All right. Looks like game starting. Uh, Luma's dead. What? Yeah, no, she got shot off. Got hit by the Terminator laser. <laughs> I mean, that's the sort of thing where Rosalina does have a very clean answer to that, where just starting off with down B at the very beginning of the game. Yeah, but then you're, like, kind of stuck with down B because yeah, there yeah. is a bit of lag with it. There is, but, you know, when you're that far apart, True. you kind of sacrifice a little bit of stage positioning, but it's worth preserving the up. True. That's what we call this beginning game mix-up. <laughs> also, it's kind of interesting how even sometimes... The laser hits Luma when Rose is shielding, and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, it has. To, it depends on the positioning of the laser. Oh man! And I will say, remember how before we were talking about how, <laughs> you know, Tilda is able to chase Rob all the way up there. Well, so can to Buzz, and the threat of that up air is. I mean, we just saw what it can do. Yeah, no, there's such major threat. But Rob is also able to go out there and just challenge Rosa. Yeah, and this is 
Wow! This is the sort of thing where once Rosa loses Luma, not only does her neutral get worse, but the disadvantage, she becomes one of the most sitting duck characters in the game. Between being floaty and having mediocre frame data, yeah, Zomba's gonna put on all the pressure and actually manage to take the stop. Yeah, no, definitely does great. Oh, damage. <laughs> Just being put through the chainsaw, yeah. man. That was like a how it's made of Rob Biscuits. <laughs> He'll buy you Rob Biscuits. $3.99. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought we were going to see something crazy right there. I always expect something. Once Rob hits in there, it's like, yo, is that game? <laughs> Okay, I'll smash out of shield, taking it. So good. And not only that, but Luma's going to respawn right as, uh, you know, Zomba gets right back into it. Yeah, and Zomba, good job with awareness, knowing that um, Gyro shot will hit the Luma through shield. And can not we get another up smash? Yeah, just keep doing it. All right. Now, I, I can understand why you yeah. would go for forward tilt there, but, you know, you, your heart wanted up smash. Yeah, the, the people wanted up smash. <laughs> Oh man, look at this damage, 85%. That up air, great DI from DeBuzz. Keeping himself alive means that he can extend this lead even further, perhaps all the way into game two because Zomba not able to get at a disadvantage right now. Yeah, no, it's really been really hard. And Chico is back. <laughs> Ooh, that up smash, but, and, well, yeah. He'll do it with the up air, fine. Oh man. And normally, like, that's the sort of range where Rob's supposed to feel comfortable. Yeah, no, this is the range where, like, yo, Rob, he's supposed to be, like, chilling. Nobody can, nobody can touch me here. And the buzz is like, nah, you're not and free. Also, reacts to the up air. He threw out that up air. I'm not, I guess, just in order to get out of tumble. Yeah, a lot of players do do moves to get out of tumble. That's why he did I it think, so high up. I think that you have to respect the fact that the buzz can get to you, so maybe instead go for like a forward air, much quicker yeah. move. Or just Matt, wiggle your second year out of tumble. That's true. The truest mix up. That time around, actually, once more, uh, throws out the laser to hit Luma, but this time around, didn't actually, the Luma didn't die. Meaning that, Ro you know, Rosa with advantage with that little Luma. Oh, man, look at all that. Look at everything she's doing here. Yeah. She's doing a fantastic job. All right. Okay. Great air dodge. Knowing the buzz, like, can't get up and just try to react to the buzz's positioning compared to your own. Oh, I oh, love yeah, that. you cannot punish that. Ah, oh, that was so good from the buzz. And what with a the little taunt. <laughs> I love that taunt. I can't believe that forward smash still landed. Okay. Yeah, no. I always believe. I also can't believe it did nothing. <laughs> that, I also can't believe that. <laughs> All right. Okay, Luma's still being tethered. Got to oh. attack. Yeah, it's a smart move. Yeah, having invincibility all the way until the hitbox comes out. Really big for the buzz right there. And now, I think he went for the lunar landing, tried to get another follow-up after yeah, it. Yeah, just a bit late, was in the tech chase situation, but respected, like, he didn't feel fast enough. DI not quite 100% there that time around. And a taunt of his own in response, teabagging in place. Rob, with one of the better teabags in the game, in my opinion. Yo, uh, that's definitely your opinion. <laughs> what? But he makes the annoying noise. I think Luigi has like one of the best, better ones. Really? I, just the fact that Rob goes chaka 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 <laughs> when he does it. All right, <laughs> Luma, <also. laughs> Rosa Luma, better teabag. But let's get back to the game. Yeah. Oh man, look at this. The buzz once more with a big lead here, but without Rosa, without Luma rather. Anna's struggling to really push the advantage. And once Luma comes back, I love that the down beat to just absorb the laser. Let's see if the buzz can actually get a stock here. He, yeah, does. he does. Beautiful. 30, 133. You see the little dash dances back and forth. And I love how he went for that Luma shot to put Luma just in the right position for an anti-air up smash while Rosa was still like three platform lengths away. Yeah. All right. And you don't see the buzz trying to be as aggressive as before. He's kind of counter-hitting. 
Yeah, this right here might be the last possible stock of the tournament. Ooh, but a great response. Zomba throwing out his own anti-air up smash, gonna be beating out the down air. We now have one stock apiece for both of these players, but oh, Zomba putting the blender right now. Yeah, no, this is not looking good. And if Zomba wants to make, keep his tournament alive, he needs to beat the buzz here. Oh, but the buzz, it like, just wasn't looking to go home. Go home, the champion, 123 on Zomba, and the up smash finishes the deal. That's gonna be it. Yeah, and that's gonna end our tournament today. The buzz, our champion. Yeah, kind of par for the course, but nonetheless, seeing his journey all the way through, numbers taking a game off of him was really yeah. big. That I was think that's his only scary. game loss. That very well could have been, yeah. But anyway, oh man, great stuff to all players, everyone in attendance tonight. It was such a pleasure. Yeah. There were so, oh man, there were so many good games. Yeah, it's been a blast here tonight. I like, I rarely co commentate this top six, but oh yeah. Like, it was a pleasure to be on here, man. So. I mean, especially on a night like tonight with the amount of yeah. heavy hitters in attendance. Oof. Yeah, it was like upset after upset.